In this video, I will show you how to download and install .NET 7 and then how to install Wix Toolset CLI 2. And the main reason for that is because in the future videos, I will show you how to package executables into MSI files for software deployment using group policy. And as you can see, I'm starting this video from my GitHub page. And the main reason for that is because there are a few bits of information that I will be using in this video. For example, the .NET 7 SDK download page, the Notepad++ download page. And the reason for Notepad++ is that I will be testing Wix toolset by repackaging Notepad executable into MSI file. And also here we have the configuration file required by Wix to repackage the executable. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Let's get started by going to .NET SDK download page. And the only thing that we need to do here is to press on .NET SDK x64 and wait for it to finish downloading. Now let's click on the executable. Click install. Yes. It has finished installing. Let's click close. Go back to my GitHub page. Let's start a command line. And I will be copying this command because I don't want to make any typos. And this is for installing the Wix, Wix toolset and CLI tool. And click enter. And as you can see here, it installed successfully. We can check by typing Wix. And it should give us some help information. Now I will minimize my browser. And as you can see here, I already have my Notepad++ executable and the Wix configuration file. I'll open it with my Visual Studio code. And if you also will be playing around with this file, make sure to do a few changes. For example, here we have the file path. Uh, you need to make sure that you have uh, an executable in this path. And if I highlight the name, there are also a few areas where the name is hard coded. And you can also test it with other software. If you are uh, testing software uh, deployment with group policy, but you will also need to change the name here and the silent switch here. Uh, this uh, configuration should work uh, with many executable installations. So I also need to change the path, as you can see, because the path here and the path on my computer is a bit different. So for that, I will shift, I will press shift on my keyboard, right click on the file and then uh, select copy as path. Then I will highlight here and paste in the path. And I will also save the file. Now I will copy the path where my files are and go to the command line and I will change directory to that path where I have my notepad ex executable and the Wix configuration file. And here the only thing we need to do is to write a command Wix build and then provide the Wix configuration file and click enter. And as you can see here, we have our MSI file. I will also open my control panel. Go to install program. As you can see, currently we don't have Notepad++ installed. Let's double click on it. Click yes. And it appeared here. Also, we can edit that configuration file using Notepad++. Yeah, so everything seems to work just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And see you in the next one.